This year at their developer conference, Google I.O., Google announced a new feature in Docs called editing. And this is fantastic for a lot of users. They've been waiting for this for a while. So it's suggested editing. And what it does, it allows users to suggest edits rather than actually make edits in a document. This overcomes the problem. A lot of people, you know, when working in a shared document, would assign themselves colors so they knew who was suggesting what and who wrote what. But the, the suggested editing is kind of like uh, track changes in uh, Word or it's also called redline editing and what and again you can go in and so here's here's I'm an owner of this document here and here's an editor of the document and I can select suggesting so if I want to change a sentence to anything scroll this out a little bit and I can see that I have replaced this with this and over here as the owner I see it in purple so I can identify who made that suggestion and I can accept the change or reject the change if I accept it it just accepts it I can go to the revision history and go back to where that suggestion was made and restore to this version and that brings that uh, suggestion back and here I can reject this version so I can uh, the revision history still works with all of this so that's fantastic but for teachers and I'm sure for peer editing this is going to be really useful but the killer app for teachers with this feature is going to be when students edit their own papers what I've seen a lot of teachers do in the past is when using Word, they would have students, when they're editing their papers, they would have to turn on track changes so that the teacher can see what edits the student made on the paper and that they are obvious and, and visible. Well, what I would recommend if you use that workflow or if you're interested in that workflow, just change the sharing access for the student to can view on the document and what that will do is prevent the person from actually being an editor. So here, I this user can only view the document. So they can't make any edits without actually implementing the suggestions. So if I type here, it actually forces those track changes to come on so that the teacher can see what edits are made in very clear detail. This is going to be fantastic for teachers who teach the writing process and where revision is an essential part of that writing process. So again, uh, if you're using a tool like Doctopus or you're using shared folders, what you want to do after they submit their first draft, turn, uh, make their access to their documents view only and that will force them to use this suggested edits feature so that you can see what changes the student has made in subsequent drafts.